And after that disaster, there are certain precautionary measures that the Indian Railway has instructed across to all the zonal railways in India. Now, this in, uh, uh, all these instructions are about ensuring that the safety measures are up to date. Uh, housing signaling equipment within station limits should be checked and ensured that they are being provided with double locking arrangements. All relay rooms and stations should be checked and ensured for proper working of the double locking system. And there should be thorough checking and ensure guidelines should be followed that the data logging and generation of SMS alert for opening closing of the door, which means that the signaling system, precautionary measures are taken to ensure, God forbid, any other instance like this really happens. My colleague Akash with us on the broadcast. Akash, tell us more about these measures, precautionary in nature, I believe. Uh, yes, and in fact, this is a drive, uh, you know, this can be said that these uh, uh, kind of drives happen, uh, you know, happen on a, a regular basis, but since uh, we have uh, seen an accident like such. So after this particular accident, this safety drive is very important. In fact, uh, safety drive is talking about uh, the signaling system, which is at this point in time on focus. Uh, and, you know, as far as uh, the particular letter is concerned, so it has been issued for all these zones in Indian railways. In fact, uh, this is a safety drive where it has been categorically said that for one week, this drive will be followed and, uh, you know, uh, after this drive, a report will be submitted to Railway Board. If I want to mention, you know, some specific points of this particular letter, so it has been said that all signaling equipments within the station limits should be checked and ensured for being provided with double locking arrangements. All relay rooms in the station should be checked and also it should be checked that the system of disconnection and reconnection for SNT equipment is allowed. Not just this, but also it has been said that this should be checked 100% on locations and all locations should be checked while 10% of these locations will be supervised and super checked by the officers. So this is a safety drive that railway is going to follow. In fact, uh, railway is going to follow these instructions that have been issued by railway board after the particular accident that has happened in Odessa on Friday. All right, my colleague Akash getting us all the details. Kamalika is also reporting from the ground. Uh, Kamalika, in that particular area where the railway line was affected, the maintenance work is over and the traffic has resumed. Tell us about what you're hearing in terms of the, uh, you know, finalization of the rescue and relief operations and how many people, the injured, still at the hospital right now. Any update on that front? See, let me, let me first uh, just break the news that tomorrow... Mamta Banerjee again is coming to Orissa. She will be going to Katak. She will be going to Bhuvaneshwar, where there are uh, there are 40, uh, 40 very seriously critical patients of Bengal. So she will go to see de them. Today in Kolkata, she has visited various hospitals where the Balasore injured people are there. So that is one big development which has taken place. Number two is what we are getting that 170 dead bodies till now according to the chief secretary has been identified and more near about 1200 people were injured uh, of which uh, almost 900 or some above 900 they have been they are uh, you know their condition is good that's what the chief secretary has said. Also, the important point is that all these 160 dead bodies that has been identified, they will be sent to their own home uh, states, uh, like Bengal, like Chennai. Uh, so they will be sent to their home states. And that uh, total, that expense will be, uh, the, the Orissa government will take up that expense. That has been said. So uh, out of 275, 170 above bodies have been identified, which is a positive sign and also as far as the we have been discussing long about the uh, about the investigation the cbi investigation fir till now has not been initiated but the crs is questioning a uh, lot of people of uh, rail in kharapur that which we come to came to know both the investigation will run parallelly that's what we are getting it from these sources and train traffic is now normal in this this area all right uh, thank you kamalika for getting us all the details my colleague akash also getting us all the inputs on that story let's